Well, hello everyone. I thought I would go through a tour of my sunroom um, and show you all the plants back here. I've had so many questions about exactly which plants I have back here, which ones are blooming, and some of them have just come into bloom. Some of them are just about to bloom. So I will place all the names of these orchids in the description box below for you all. This is Vanda Roberts Delight Garnet Beauty, completely bloomed out. Absolutely love this Vanda, and the plant itself is just beautiful. I'm going to back up and I'm going to show you what this looks like, the entire plant. And this is it. And the roots that you see that go um, outside the vase, they go all the way down to the floor of my sunroom. So it's rather interesting when I'm draining these vases. I have to be careful with the, with the roots, but um, definitely worth it. I absolutely love this Vanda. And now let's get to the fowls that are just now starting to bloom. Um, this is my fowl, Hilo Pink. This is the first rebloom for me. Absolutely beautiful. And someone asked me, do you have foul magic art? And that one is behind Hilo Pink. So let me give you a close-up of that one as well. And here is foul magic art. I love them when they have the, the buds and a few of the blooms are blooming out. And I like the look of them uh, at this stage. I think they're just so very pretty when they first start blooming out. So this is magic art. And here is one of my oldest fowls in my collection. I have had this one for 13 years and this is Montclair's Mist times Cygnus Empire. And she has bloomed every single year for me for 13 years. So as I've said before, I absolutely love a beautiful white fowl. And here is my beautiful Dendrobium Burana Jade Fantasy number nine. Oh my goodness, look at all these beautiful blooms. Absolutely love this one. This one is just stunning. Okay, and these two are still blooming out. The one on the left, I'm not sure about the ID on that one. I thought that it was Soho Pearl. But Soho Pearl is actually um, yellow with the red speckles there instead of the white. So I'm not sure about the ID, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then the one on the right is so Foul Soho Vivian. I love that one. And it is blooming from a secondary spike and it's branched off there. So that's a, that's a really, really good little miniature there to grow. This one has been a very good bloomer for me. And let me show you the close-up of my foul, pardon me, my Vanda Sensei Blue. And as you see, it has a spike up towards the top of it. I cannot wait for this one to bloom. And let me just kind of pan down a little bit and let me show you the beautiful root system that it has. Um, this is just a 24-hour soak in some CalMag today. This is not a fertilizing day. Um, but I like to water them um, twice a week. And then I fertilize them once a week. So about every other day, they're either in fertilizer or they're in some CalMag. So they seem to just be doing really, really well. And with the extra fertilizer, they have really greened up too. So that's awesome. And let me show you some spikes that are just doing really very well. This is Foul Brother Pirate King. And look at the branching on this spike. I can't wait until this one blooms. It is just a beautiful foul. And this is going to be a really, really good bloom cycle for this plant as well. And this is foul Sandy Beach. She's got two spikes. Um, this one used to be in water culture and then I started losing some leaves on this one. So I decided to go ahead and place it in moss last year and it's just done really, really well. And I have been, um, 
really pleased that it has two spikes on it this year. So I can't wait for this one to bloom. This is the yellow one with the red lip. Just absolutely gorgeous. And this is one that I've been asked about quite a bit lately. This is Foul Intensity. I've had this plant for about, oh, I'd say about 10 years. Look at the new root growth that I'm getting here. And then look on the right side. That is a new spike. The story to this plant was that it got down to two leaves while it was in water culture. Um, I decided to go ahead and convert it. Of course, if you have a if you have a fowl that's down to two leaves, you really need to get it into some New Zealand sphagnum moss. Uh, that's what I that's how I learned about um, placing them in New Zealand sphagnum moss when they get into tr some trouble. And so, uh, this is the first time it's rebloomed in two years, just simply because it didn't have enough leaves to even bloom. So as you see, it's grown four leaves in a year and a half. That is amazing. So it's going to bloom this year and I'm really, really happy about that. And several of you have asked me about my Vanda Picara Blue, the one that um, the leaves, the lower leaves on the plant were starting to turn yellow. Um, this is what it looks like now. I did lose a few leaves, but the remaining leaves on the bottom of the plant after I started fertilizing it at a higher rate, they they turned green. I am so pleased with this, and this plant is just looking so much better. And the mystery spike on my huge dendrobium. I don't know what this one's going to be. I can't wait until it blooms because this one has never bloomed for me before, and I can't wait to see what color these blooms are. So it's just keeping me in suspense, but usually the wait is just worth it. That's what I found out about growing orchids. And here's my little fowl that I called. I've nicknamed this one Violet. I don't know the name of this one either, but it has beautiful splotchy leaves and um, it's spiking again. Happy to say this one has grown three new leaves. Um, rather quickly. I've been really amazed at how this one has progressed. And this is Buddy, and you can see how the spike on Buddy is progressing. Um, this is that beautiful little, I hate to call it a no ID fowl. I just don't, I don't like that. This is my little fowl Buddy. Um, blooms a beautiful purple bloom with um, like white edging on it. Absolutely beautiful and also a subscriber favorite. And this is what the eastern side of my sunroom looks like. These are the plants that I have there. The one in the back corner, that dendrobium back in the back corner, I'm going to have to have a talk with it. It started spiking a few months ago and then it got really, really cold very suddenly. And I think that that spike just decided not to develop. So I'm going to have to have a talk with that one. The one beside of it is Luigi. And then the little miniature in the brown pot, that is April's Hope. And she is spiking again. And this huge dendrobium, that's the one that I showed you. It's uh, keeping me in suspense. It's spiking. Can't wait to see what those blooms look like. And here's another star of the show. My Christmas cactus is blooming again, beginning of March. Oh my goodness, look at the gorgeous blooms on this plant. I absolutely love this Christmas cactus. So let's give you a different view of Robert's Delight Garnet Beauty. Um, I love taking a lot of videos when my vandas are in bloom. I hope this has brightened your all's day. It's been very, very cold here in Tennessee, so um, I just enjoy sharing blooms with you on cold winter days like today. So you all be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed, and we'll talk to you all next time.